Hello everyone, hope you guys are all doing fine. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about one more topic today. That will be, let me see what I wanted to, to okay, explore and inspect. I should have done this a lot earlier, but nonetheless, it's never too late. Explore and inspect. 3.7 mm, let's say Python here yeah. okay rename now put a pound sign here let me go ahead and remove this code let me increase the font a bit I wish there was an option to increase the font within the Jupyter itself but unfortunately it's not there maybe in one of the future version we will find it okay so anyway what is an ex what is explore and inspect is it some kind of feature in python now it's how do you explore and inspect python how do you um, uh, query or inquire about something that you want to use how do you better understand a particular component of python so let's say A is Ambi, my last name here. Shift enter. I'm going to say type A. It prints out string because what I have typed is a string. Now is instance A SDR. So what I'm asking Python is, is A an instance of the class string? So SDR or string is a Python's built-in class same way is instance one str is one an instance of the class built-in class string or is one a string no control a control c instead of str i will put int here obviously it's true because one is an integer so how do you explore this let's say you want to know more what all is there inside the string class i want to explore it very easy say help str shift enter help on class str in module built in blah 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 you get the entire menu here and what are the things that you can use and how are uh, they defined you might have seen me covering most or many of these uh, string options in my previous discussion when I was doing uh, a topic on strings, right? So they are all here. They're all here. So this is how you do it. However, uh, there are other ways. You can look it up like this, direct dir stands for directory then you do str on a built-in function and here the way it shows is different here you will kind of get a headline and a definition of it right um here is the method here is its definition but here you get just the headline right then you can if you want to explore more then you can say let's say dir str dot find here yeah? and then you will see what all is there inside find str dot find you want to take it a notch up then you do this right so wherever you want to go it's like navigation you choose this you choose this it's you keep on opening the box like a, a box inside a box box inside a box you might have seen those Chinese toys. You'll have a toy. You open up that, you'll have inside you know, a few more toys. You open up a toy, right? So you select what you want to know about and do a DIR on it, and you will know more about it. You can also do help str.find like this, right? So you will get a specific answer on that specific method that you are looking for or you can also do help like this generic help and then you can type what do you want 
uh, or what kind of health do you want what do you want your health right so there i will say str right and str entered this and in str let's say want z fill or upper yeah say upper there no upper this no python documentation for upper interesting let's say let me go ahead and do starts with yeah i would say starts with hmm should i say str dot starts with okay this works a bit differently obviously so i think let me type int yep okay so it will give me an entire help page for the main class not the sub items of it let's say int dot real yes it does it was just that and why did not specify it properly for string yep so i do get then let's say inside int dot real can i do int dot uh, numerator yes i can so when i want to quit i think q so this is how you i you know explore find uh, never ever even think or try to remember all this rather it is better to know where to look at when you need it or how to look at that is a better option because whatever you remember whatever you know will get outdated so i have kind of stopped uh, to remember uh, the exact ways of doing it or uh, like you know all these what all the sub methods this class and inside the class you have this underscore um new underscore underscore dunder new method is there what will that do instead i will just remember where to look at where to look for that or even if you don't have or don't know all you know, what all they do or where to look at you can just search online and you will get it that because most of the times i have seen the way I wanted to do a certain things or find or achieve something um, was not a good idea when I search online and I found better solutions. So also, let's say today you remember that this there is a method A of concatenating strings. You remember it and you keep doing it and new version of Python comes or that becomes outdated or whatever. But St since you are accessing it from your cache that is your brain your memory that will be as i said you know it's outdated so try not to be uh, an expert on something because expert is something who knows everything about something uh, that also means he's sometimes most of the times you know they are kind of a uh, expert to uh, till certain time after that you know they might have forgotten or uh, whatever the new changes that have come they are not really aware of it i'm not trying to insult any experts on python or something there are some god level coders there but this is uh, a general um what is a tip in order uh, when you want to explore or when you want to do something you rather go in like this use dir or help or search online rather than trying to remember all of them i know uh, sometimes you uh, might want to do that for like a you know, few things for maybe passing an interview or something but beyond that uh, I'd always recommend go this route that is explore inspect and then do it and uh, whatever the things that you're doing most often you will remember them anyway right so thank you for tuning in you have a great one